up? It's your girl Nicola, aka the Calabop Barbie doll, and I'm back with another video. I'm so excited for this one because if you can tell by the scenery, well, maybe you can't. I'm actually in my bedroom on my bed where I usually film most of my videos, but this one is quite special. I got a story time for you. Really interesting because it actually took place quite recently around the holidays, which is Christmas, if you can't tell by the tree, come on now. This is the time a Nigerian doctor decided to use me for experimentation. <laughs> I am so happy to be telling this story. We were rolling through the ages, taking bits and pieces, pages, not so good with names or faces. Take a walk with Mother Nature, feel her inclination. And what had happened was, it was the day of Christmas Eve. No, the night of Christmas Eve, okay? We had a little get together at our house. When everyone left, it was around like 2, 3 a.m. I finally passed out in bed. I said, that's it, y'all, I'm gonna go to sleep. Woke up the next day, it was Monday, right? Christmas day. I had to go to work. I was feeling really groggy. I was like, you know what? Maybe it's just I was up late because I didn't get too much sleep the night before. That's fine. That's okay. I'll just like shake it off, you know, like Mariah Carey says, right? I get to work at like 7.30 p.m. and everything is okay. I have an interview that I have to take part in. It was Pepinazzi. Shout out to you. What's up, bro? I had the interview. I finished all my advertisements. I said, that's it. My nose is running, I have a pounding headache, I'm going home. I left work a little early, right? If you don't know, I work for a radio station, Cool FM, here in Abuja. Yeah, so you can tune in to the Night Cafe with Nikki, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m., shameless plug-in. <laughs> Moving on. I got home, I don't know, around maybe like 11 p.m., 11.30-ish, yeah, 11.30 p.m.-ish. I went straight to bed, like honestly. When I woke up the next morning, my throat was on fire. Like I could barely talk. My body was hot. I was running such a fever. My head was pounding. I just decided to keep myself in bed. All of Tuesday, I was in bed. I didn't go to work. All of Wednesday, I was in bed. I didn't go to work. All of Thursday, I was still in bed and I didn't go to work. But what had happened was on Thursday, no, it was on Wednesday. Yeah, this is actually the receipt right here, my prescription from the hospital. I'm not gonna say what hospital it was because I ain't trying to get people to come for me. I'll tell you that much now, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, I went to the hospital on Wednesday and I saw a doctor, right? This doctor was recommended to us by my usual person that comes to our house and like takes my blood whenever I have trouble, right? We went to the hospital and I saw this doctor. First off, it was almost impossible for me to get out of bed to go to this hospital. My whole body ached. I could barely talk. I was still having a fever. I got there and the doctor's like making jokes. He was like, what's your name? I was like, Nicole. And he was like, hm, hm, hm. how do you spell it? I was like, N-I-C-O-L-E. And he was like, oh, like cool, like LL Cool J. Are you cool? I said, what? What, what are you talking about? And then it's like, anyway, so what are your symptoms? I said, I haven't been up from bed in a while. This is my first time out of bed, out of the house in like forever. My throat is burning. Like I can barely talk. I can barely swallow anything. I have a really high fever and my head is pounding and my eyes like they ache. Like I can barely open up my eyes. My guy now said, hmm, you'll be fine. I said, what? He said, you'll be fine. I was like, oh, a hey, thank you. And he said, no, it can't be malaria. And I said, oh, okay. My guy did not take my blood pressure, did not listen to my breathing, did not take a blood sample. This is where I'm telling you to pause the video. Grab yourself a drink, maybe some Ribena, because let me tell you something. Child, this tea is about to get piping what hot. So, mm, hold on. After he said, you'll be fine, tell me why my guy proceeded to give me this prescription paper to go and buy prescriptions. Why is my prescriptions coming up to 38K Naira? 
Does that make sense? I really think my guy used me for either A, money ritual, or either B, trying to make New Year's for himself. Fine, but it's not every single time you kill a goat for New Year's. Anyways, so he gave me one, two, three, four, five, six different medications to take. I have the proof. Look at this. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Now, this is what I find hilarious. He said it's not malaria. Then what is this? What, what is this? Why did I find malaria medication in my bag? Why? Why am I paying for this if you said it's not malaria? This, do you guys get me? I was confused. Moving on in the story. The first night I came home from the hospital, Wednesday night, I took the medication, yeah? I went to bed because thankfully, my friend Jeff decided to stop by and drop off this medication instead, Panadol Nighttime. This is the greatest of all time. I know I slept well because of what? This. Get you some Panadol Night. Grab your tea or whatever drink you have. Just, just grab it really quick. You refreshed? You're gonna need it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on in the story. So we are Wednesday night, right? I took that medication. I said, oh, I don't feel so good. Jeff came and saw me. He was like, fam, you look like you lost weight. Are you okay? And I was like, well, I don't know. He was like, here, try this Panadol night. I said, okay. I popped two pills within 20 minutes. Babes was feeling sleepy, like on cloud 10. I said, okay, cool. The next morning, I take the medication from the hospital again, because I can only take this at night when I'm getting ready to sleep. The next morning, not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six different pills in the morning, okay? Six, why couldn't you just make it seven, huh? Might as well just made it 12, like the 12 disciples, I understand. Why not three, there's the three wise men, but it's okay, you do you, you the doctor, you went to school. I take these different medications, all six of them. Malaria medication, this stuff I have at home, this is allergy medication. He gave me some vitamins, okay, I don't know what this is, but this is the one that gave me the problem. What is this, you may ask? Well, I took this medication. I took all the medications. And I was like, yo, something doesn't feel right. I started purging. I started throwing up, okay? I now started feeling knocked out. Like, Zara walked into my room and she was like, yo, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Just the medication's quite strong. I'm gonna sleep it off. I felt horrible. Like, my stomach was basically having the movie 300. Like, they were legit rehearsing 300 inside my stomach. It was in pain. So, I now wake up from sleep about like three or four hours later, yeah? I look at my prescription. I said, what's making me feel so bad? As God will have it, he referred me to the bottom of the page. Coco de Mall. Coco de Mall. Now, y'all might be like, what is Coco de Mall? Let me tell you, Coco de Mall is the younger sister of Valium, okay? That's how I'm gonna put it. With my experiences of medication, I'm not saying I abuse drugs. I don't advise you self-drugging yourself, right? Self-medicating yourself. But I had Valium when I pull out my wisdom teeth. This Coco de Mall gave me the same exact feeling as Valium. And the only reason why I know it's this is because they gave me this medication when I was in a lot of pain. I was actually in the hospital in the UK, all right? They gave me this medication and this legit put me on like cloud 15. Like honestly, you know those platinum tables and like those diamond tables? Child, I was on Jesus's table with this medication. I'm telling you that right now. So I saw this and I was like, why am I taking Coco de Mall? It's not that serious of a sickness for me to take Coco de Mall. I was like, what on earth? Yo, so I just went back to my prescription. I was like, why am I taking so much medication? And let me tell you, since Thursday morning, I have not touched any of this, all this, all, all of this, honey. I have not touched all, no, well, I have not touched all of this. Why? Because that doctor legit used me to spend money, okay? He made money off me. I really think that him and the pharmacy, they're in cahoots. Isn't that what you young kids say this day? Cahoots. So what I did from Thursday night on, I just been taking this Panadol night because this is what has been doing me some justice. Anyways, you guys, that is the story of how a Nigerian doctor used me for experimentation. I pray that this never happens to you. 
I pray it never happens to me again. I also pray it doesn't happen to my worst enemy because I do not wish this upon anyone. It was torture. The way I felt, I felt much worse than I felt better after I took that medication. I'm telling you now, okay? I'm legit just telling you now. I just thank God that this doctor did not find out that my blood type is actually the rarest blood type in the world, okay? Because then <laughs> we will have another problem. So I have one question for you. Has anything like this ever happened to you? What would you do if a doctor decided to prescribe you this much medication and none of it works? and they just made money off of you. Comment down below, I would like to know because I still am trying to figure out what to do. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, go ahead and thumbs up this video. If we get 500 likes, I will tell you the story of how the doctors in England experimented with my rare blood type. Yes, I have the rarest blood type in the world, so they say. So I'm going to tell you that story if and only if we get this video to 500 likes so go ahead and smash that thumbs up button okay also don't forget to share this video with everyone and anyone because I think this story is quite hilarious if you ask me dangerous but hilarious also go ahead and subscribe to the channel of Zara and Nicola TV darling if you guys can do me a massive favor Zara and I have a goal by my birthday it will be the best birthday gift ever if we can get this channel to 100k subscribers so go ahead and subscribe to the channel tell your friends to subscribe tell your parents to subscribe make multiple accounts and subscribe I don't know what you got to do but we're gonna get to 100k okay <laughs> All right, guys, I'll catch you in my next video. This is Nicola, and I am signing out. Mucho love, camera. Mucho love. Bye, you guys.